Well, happy Keto Thursday, y'all. It's day number four of getting back on keto, and um, I actually fasted today until about uh, 3.30. Then I had some, um, let's see, what did I have? I had some beef jerky, I had some pepperoni, and I had some cheese, and I've drank a lot of water, and I had, of course, black coffee. Um, I actually got to hurry up because I'm doing an a interview with Philip Ebar, Dak's uncle, here in about 35 minutes, so I'm going to do some pepper steak. You remember I've been talking about this pepper steak, or at least this uh, steak, fajita steak that I've had in the fridge. Hopefully it's still good. I actually sliced this up earlier today, put some Worcestershire sauce, some salt, some pepper, and uh, some soy sauce. Now I need to go through and get the coconut amino um, soy sauce. Basically it's a coconut derived soy sauce as opposed to the regular soy sauce, which does have some carbs in it. So I'm kind of still off on getting this stuff together. and. Actually, cooking this for my wife here too. Some bok choy. So I actually got some bok choy myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing a pepper steak today, and I actually taken two jalapeno peppers, a red pepper, a green pepper, uh, some scallions, and this spring onions. So I just call them spring onions, and I've taken a regular onion. So normally you don't put the spring onions and stuff in there, but I like the onions, I like the extra vegetables in there. Um, this is about a pound and a quarter of steak. Ginger. Get a ginger root. Ginger root is great for you. And I like the elephant ear um, garlic. The reason why I like the elephant ear is the cubes of garlic are huge. The last time I saw this, I was in Seattle, Washington uh, many years ago and got some there. We usually don't get this here, but I guess because of the pandemic, uh, you're getting things that you don't normally have. So I've got some uh, sesame oil in here right now getting hot. And I've got my ginger, I'm taking the skin off of it. I got me four cloves of garlic, and I'm gonna chop that stuff up real quick. And I'm gonna throw this in here so it'll brown just a little bit. Then I'm gonna hit my vegetables in there and get that going. And then I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna put the meat in and let that get going and then add it. And it, then it's just a matter of putting a little bit of soy sauce in there and a little bit of water. And normally you would put cornstarch and sugar um, if you weren't doing keto and that will end up getting into a paste and that would end up being the sauce. Well, I still need to get some of the xanthium gum because that's a good thickener um, and some artificial sweeteners um, like the uh, coconut sugars and things. And I've got to go shop into Target. Target is actually pretty good at finding those things. Now I kind of like leaving my ginger and garlic kind of chunky. That's just me. I like the flavor of garlic. And so far, I'm going to slap it. Oh, it would help if I turn that back on high, wouldn't it? Get that back up on high and get that going. I um, did one of the pea strips today, and when you get it, it's kind of like very faint pink is what the natural color of it is before you actually pee on it. That's right. You actually have to use a pee strip. Um, if it's deep purple, you are deep, deep into ketosis. And I think there's like six slots. And I was between like three and four. So I'm beginning to get into ketosis, which is great news. Um, we definitely want to be in ketosis. And... Um, that's where the fat starts to burn. And doing the, of uh, course, doing um, the fasting is going to help, kind of help convert all that. So here we go here. I'm going to start sauteing. Come on a little closer. Come on a little closer. Don't worry, I'm on bite. We got the garlic and the uh, ginger root there together. We're going to saute that. And then we're going to go ahead and get the veggies in here, too. Look at that. I love the color of the way the stove burner looks when I'm video recording. It looks red here, but it looks purple on your your side. I wish you could smell that, because it smells so good. All right, let's start getting these peppers. So i got green peppers, got red peppers. i got jalapeno peppers in there, because I like things spicy. And I'm going to put some onions in there as well. Look at that. Now this is 
full of protein. There is a little bit of fat that's on the meat, but not a whole lot. So to get ourselves a little bit more fat onto this, what we're going to do is we're going to end up adding an avocado to it. We're going to put an avocado in the mix. And because, like I said, I like spicy, this is some red chili paste. It's not typical for pepper steak, but again, I like things spicy. Because if it's real hot, you're not going to eat it real fast either. You know you're going to slow down when it's really hot. But we're just going to soften this up a little bit. We're going to take it out, and then we're going to do the meat and then add this back in. Really pretty simple to do something like this. Really simple. And you can see, oh, that smells so good. Smells so good. Had this wok for about 20 plus years. And it's done great. Now, I was thinking about doing cauliflower rice, shrimp fried rice, but that's more than I felt like doing today. But if you get some shrimp, go ahead and get them deveined and peeled. Um, you're going to make your cauliflower rice. You can buy the cauliflower rice in the store. But the thing about the cauliflower rice in the store is it's kind of expensive. And it has a taste to it because I'm not sure that it's just the cauliflower. You know what I'm saying? you got to be careful on some other things. They still sneak other ingredients in on them. And you're, you know, not sure exactly if you're really getting the real deal. It's always better if you can do it fresh yourself. And that's what I was trying to do here. And it's really not that hard. All you need is a cheese grater. You get a cheese grater, and you grate it, and you got cauliflower rice. Um, but basically, you take the cauliflower rice. Um, I take uh, some peas not too much carrot, some onions, and eggs. Now, I take my eggs. What I do is I actually scramble up the eggs. I cook the eggs first because I like chunks of eggs in it, and I'll do that first. Then I'll go through. I'll put the onions and the carrots and saute that, and I put the rice in last because you don't want it to get too well done because it's cauliflower. It's not like real rice. It'll get too soft and mushy, and you don't want it mushy. But basically... Basically, what I'll do is, I'll be putting in the shrimp and the cauliflower at the same time. So that way, it's uh, they're both done, because they're both very, very delicate. Oh, this smells so good. Mm. I think I'm hungry. See, look at that. See, that's just softened right there. So we're going to set that aside. We're going to let this get hot again. I'm going to put some more oil on it. See, look at it. It's smoking. It's smoking. And then we're going to... You see, you want the meat to hit this thing hot. You really want it to be... Let it go sizzle. Yeah. Because what that'll do is... It'll lock in the juices and make it more tender. Now, the bad thing, of course, is... I got an electric stove. And what happens is it loses that heat real quick. Um, my next house, whenever that may be, is going to definitely be like a six burner gas um, stove on the inside because I like to cook and I like to have that heat. Mmm. Onion's good. This is really not hot. You're not hot. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, light my fire. We got a good sear, at least to start with. It started nice. Pull it away a little bit. You see all that juice coming from it. And while that's doing that, I'm going to take some of the chili paste. Looks like I need to get some more of it. That in there with those juices. I'll be glad when I get to thousand subscribers and I can just live stream this instead of having to tape it. It'll just be us in the kitchen. Oh, let me let you in on a secret. Damn. 
Today's a hard day. Today's a really hard day. About 45 minutes ago, the doorbell rang. And it was the devil. I mean, it was the devil himself trying me. Girl Scouts. Girl Scout cookies. Three boxes of Samoas. Three boxes of Thin Mints. And then there's two other boxes of Who Cares. Uh, it's just the Samoas. I'm addicted to Samoas. That's like my crack. Mm, let me try a piece of this. Ooh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Nice and spicy. Taste the pepper. Got a little kick to it with the powder. The uh, woo. Got a little kick to it with the um, chili paste. And you can see, look at all that liquid in there. Look at that. Oh, look at that. And now we're gonna put our peppers back in here. And we're almost done. Doesn't that look good? I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce. I don't need much because there's still plenty of juices in there. And I'm going to put just a little shot, just a couple drops of honey in there. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not supposed to put honey in there, but I'm going to put a little bit of honey in it. But... But I've been good. I've had no sugar and I've had no carbs today. About a teaspoon there. And that's it, guys. And like I said, if I had the xanthium gum, this would be perfect. Uh, that would have gotten nice and thick for us. My wife, you're having what kind of fish? You forgot. Okay, she got. She's having. I forgot fish. Um, Do you see it in there? Okay. Woo! Doesn't look too bad, does it? I'll um, use a pair. Let me see those tongs, the tongs, tongs, tongs. There we go. Oh, yeah. Definitely lots of protein in here. Not enough fat, but we've got our protein galore. And we take some of this avocado, at least the part of it that's not brown. Chop them up. And there we have it. Boom. Here's our keto. Look at that. Oh, look at that steaming. All right, let's check it out. Look at, look at that steak. Mm. Yeah. That's a good meal. I don't care if you're doing keto or not. No sugar, no carbs. And it's smoking. No sugar? Well, the, you know, I get all the sugar I need from my wife. All right, good people. 15 minutes to cook this. That's pretty good. And it's hot as shit. Mmm. 
make sure you guys let me know how it's coming for you guys. I've got a lot of great questions in there from like where I got the keto bread um, and things like that. Different recipes and things that you may be trying. Let me know what works for you, what hasn't worked. If you get stuck on a plateau or whatever, just leave a little comment below. And I appreciate you guys. And we are going to do this thing together. That's right. Ooh, that's some pepper steak. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you soon.